Oh, shalom, rastafari. Greetings in a rasi adinos, tafari neng. This is Wendem Yadon. This is Brother Yadon of the line of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty Moan Besa Zem Negeda Yehuda Machuder in the Americas, Caribbean, and throughout the world, ministering and proclaiming the good news of the King of Kings and His Christ, the Moshiach, Yeshua. Um, the first thing, first of all, hallelujah for another another cycle of Torah portion, um, reading and feeding. And we, I know we call it Torah portion when you really should call it, since it's in, in, in the Christ, the true Moshia of Negus Neges, we should call it the living, the living Torah portion. So I think that would be good. There's, there's a lot of inspiration coming to I and I um, during these uh, early light hours of, um, I think this is October 15th, 2012. And um, so it will be the, the Senyo, the Senyo, right, um, the first day. The first, well, actually, this the first day of the Babylonian work week. You know, we have to make sure we just have an overstanding of time, so we're grounded in in Jah's time, in God's time. So it's the first day of the work week, and um, it's really the second day of uh, the week. All right, um, according to our Ethiopic and Hebraic root, um, there's a few things I want to share. Um, we still have a third portion for the Simchat Torah, for the Sisha Orit, um, yeah, Orit Desita, for the joy of the law, the joy of the Torah. Now, some would hear these messages and might think, especially some of the um, Christianoch, some of the Christian um, brothers and sisters out there, they might say, oh, these are Rastafarians or Rastafari who um, are reading and studying the Bible, and um, like the Jews, they are in the Old Testament, and they kind of speak of uh, Yeshua, and Jesus Christo, so forth and so on. But let me remind the brothers and sisters especially, that we, we had like a one topic we wanted to discuss was word, sound, and power. You know, it was an upgrading in a sense. I and I um, both... Uh, both understanding our groundation on word, sound, and power, because this is a phraseology, this is a phrase that is, has been used in Rastafari. And what we're going to try to do is try to timeline ourselves and try to do roughly kind of half an hour portions on a couple of, um, um, one we'll call it bullet point but really to make the point on a couple of direct subject matters. So this is the, like the first one that we're doing right now, and we wanted to have it as a greeting, and we were thinking about daily devotions, and, and we say, well, yeah, daily devotionals are good. Well, we don't have all the software and everything else really aligned for it right now to really do it on a consistent basis. You know what I mean? Because um, man may feel, but Yahweh, what Yeshua feels, I and I not. So, you know, the technology is interesting because the technology, if the technology can fail too, you know, the worldly technology. But there's a couple of interesting sites that have like daily devotionals that also um, utilize the Metzhaf Kedus or the Book of the Seven Seals, His Majesty's Bible, the Amharic Bible. Um, some of them use the King James, and we could use these or that or refer you here or there, and we've done that already. But one has to take also, when we say personal responsibility, what does that mean? The ability to respond. You know what I'm saying? It's really the ability to respond. You see, in the world, looking at it from a worldly perspective, responsibility has a lot of um, dubious, Right, and even to the point of diabolical shades, and um, um, you know, there's a lot of so called gray areas of responsibility. But we're going to try to deal with this, um, to utilize the phrase more in a black and a white kind of sense, right? Or in, in a black and a true, you understand, or in a white, false, if, if you want to take it like that. Some might 
think of this as being racist, but it's only what's already in there, what they have not repented of in their own heads and hearts. All right, we know that the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness, I'm not talking about black folks, but black folks are in darkness, spiritual darkness. And there's a couple of, there's a couple of, um, um, messages that we really um, are going to try to get edited or um, we've been trying to just do the the basic audio where, you know, you can tune in and probably there'll be like a still, you know, a still, it'll be video, video format, but it'll probably be a still and you will hear I and I either reasoning or teaching or preaching or proclaiming or responding to certain timely issues here or there or giving a a, a, a spirit based uh, commentary on some subject matter that has some um, um relevance or also some resonance for us in this present time or in whatever time or period that, that the video is posted there's a couple of things that we've already um have reasoned on and recorded over the past few days but as the word says we are praying for more laborers to be sent into uh, his vineyard, you understand, because the harvest is, 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 is plentiful, but the laborers are few. And that's not for I and I to, oh, and be moan. No, you got, you got to read on, and you got to receive it with, with the imnet, all right, with true and a faithful, a trustworthy and a faithful witness, because we read on, it says, so therefore pray, to the Adonai Sebaot, right? To the to the Lord, if you please, and to the Master, the Adoni, the Adonai of the harvest, so that He send more laborers into His vineyard. Now that actually um, a point on prayer, because we want to strengthen as we strengthen our and ourselves, as we're learning things ourselves, and we're growing in grace. We want to do all due diligence to share this with our brothers, our sisters, and our mothers as well. You understand? Because all in all, you understand, is and will be fulfilled in Yeshua HaMoshiach. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. Um, so in this first vid, uh, first um, upload, uh, hopefully this will be the first one. We're trying to get uh, keep a time check as best as possible. Um, this is not to be... Um, I'm confused with the other sermons and teachings and preachings where we sometimes go go on like the the Simchat Torah. I think we were recording a part of that, and and I think the first part is like almost three hours, but we only have been able to post I think a thirty, thirty three, thirty four minute, and I think a forty four minute, right? And there is still more to come on that which we're still working on editing. You know, we like to do the word picture presentation, and when we're speaking on a certain subject matter, we like to give ones a, a kind of a visual, you understand, to go along with it, or either the scripture or the word or the quotes so that ones, as they hear us expound, and they can see either exactly what we're looking at or what we're referring to as well. But this message is a reminder to the Ras Tefari Faithful to all of those who name the name of Rastafari, you understand, and to all of those who are faithful to the teachings and in the teaching of His Majesty, in the testimony of His Majesty. And the testimony of His Majesty is the Wenge, is is the is the Mishrach, is the Bishrach, is, is the gospel, the good news. You understand the living, you understand the living. God, the living source. And there's a lot of resources out there. You know, there's a lot of resources. I'm talking about good resources now. There's a lot of good good resources out there. In fact, even the Bible, whether it's the King James or it's the King of Kings version of the Bible, is still a resource. You see, a resource. We still have to be rooted and grounded in the source. So we can recognize how these resources and what the resources really are supposed to do. So we, too, can walk in a new and a living way. So this, we wanted this to be a reminder to the Arastafari um, brothers and sisters and those uh, subscribers and listeners. A reminder for, for daily um, dedication. 
Yeah, in other words, we we burn out, you know, as Rastafari on a certain level, even to a point, a certain Rasta Pharisee, Pharisaical level sometimes of word sound. You know, when we say dedication, we'll say, well, dead is in that word because we're still we're still in 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 the Gentile world. Let's understand. You, you see, when we become Hebrews or we start to cross over from 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 darkness or ignorance into the light of the King of Kings and his Christ, we'll recognize that, wow, you know, if we were to look at the word um, dedication in, in its Ethiopic sense, it's kind of, uh, it, it means in the sense of renewing, renewing, making new, or even repairing. It has the idea of repairing, like the festival of, of dedication, which is called the Hanukkah. The Hanukkah or Hanukkah is called the Festival of Lights, but it's also, it corresponds to the um, dedication, right? Or we, as Rastafari would say, livication, right? The livication of the Beta Mekdes. And we're speaking about the, the, the temple, or, or, or in the sense of tabernacle, but really in the, the New Testament sense, in, in the New Testament, the latter sense, it was the temple, the stone temple or the temple of of Negus uh, Selamin, right? Negus Selamin, the dedication, and then later on is Herod's temple, so forth and so on. But the point is daily devotion. You see, the daily devotions are the daily dedication. Now, of course, the word dead and the dead vibe, so forth and so on, and, and we recognize there is a word sound and power in that because clearly, even to one who is unlettered and unlearned and hears the word dead, it sounds like dead. You understand? But now when we understand metades to renew, the whole idea of the renewing, you understand, or repairing of the house. Now, it's interesting because coming up, is the uh, feast or the festival of Hanukkah, right? And now, we, we've explained this and taught on this, but once again, we have to make mention right here that the the Old Testament, what we call the Old Testament or Torah, the Torah, the Naveen, the Beam, um, the Prophets, and and the um, Tehillim, or the um, Mesmorat, the Psalms, Right, mainly, namely the songs Mazmur David, David, that these com comprise the, the main books or collection of books and writings of the Belui Kidan. But the Old Testament is actually the New Testament or the Burt Hadasha, the Hadith Kidan, concealed. Right? And the New Testament or the Hadith Kidan, the Brit Hadasha in Yeshua, in the Moshiach, is actually the Old Testament, right? The Belui Kidan revealed. And, and I, I keep repeating this because these are things that we have learned and grounded us on, and they, all, they act as, um, they act as, um, Almost like guide stones in a sense, you know, or one could say stepping stones on level, but they they act as um, main things to I and I that keeps I and I grounded in an I and I perspective, I and I astayayet in the way that we are viewing. You understand the materials, the way, the truth, and the life. So we mention this again for you all. You know, some of you all already know this. Others might be hearing this for the first time, but. As you continue, and hopefully as you continue to grow in grace and to study, you understand, and continue to behold Yeshua, to learn. When we say talk about study, we're not talking about just really studying just the Bible or just studying um, some of the extra biblical darsanat, the Ethiopic Talmud, or the Kuvr Neges, or other documents, the Ethiopic prayer, uh, legends of Our Lady Mariam. All of these are also resources. So when we're speaking about um, a reminder to the Rastafari, the, the daily um, devotionals, right? The daily devotionals are a way that, in a daily sense, 
we livicate our spirit, our soul, and our body, our carbon organic, if you want to get scientific and technical, our carbon organic structure. You understand, you know, it was the trinity, the triunity to the God and Father of our Lord and Savior, our black Lord and Savior, the Moshiach Yeshua. You understand? Um, these are things that we need to understand at the outset. So when we're saying to especially the Dek Amazamorit, to the brothers and sisters, to those sincerely and truly seeking to, to grow in the grace of the King of Kings and and through the Moshiach. The Moshiach is the living Torah. You understand? The living Torah. This is one thing you have to really understand, that Yeshua HaMoshiach. See, it's not like we're studying Old Testament over here and then we're talking about Christ over here, Jesus Christos over here. And, and I know t for some of you all it might seem like that. And this is one of the reasons why the Ruach Kodesh, why the Holy Spirit, and why we are discussing these matters right here as a reminder. And, and now, many of you all already, uh, the brothers and sisters who have been studying with I and I and growing with I and I, they already know we, we mentioned the daily, the daily Psalms. You understand? Because when we first started out in this in this way, you understand? When we still were were like little children and we started out in this way. We 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 um we had a lot of questions, you know, questions like a lot of y'all have questions. You understand? Um there's a lot of things that we didn't understand. Some would say, Wow, you give thanks for that and but, but a lot of these things some of these things we have um just fully begun to really overstand in the sense of Rastafari. Overstand even recently, even though we knew certain things about certain things and we heard certain things about other things, and though we read certain things and we um, even experienced certain things, we did not really understand until we began to behold Yeshua, behold Adonai Yeshua HaMoshiach in a new and living way. And, and as a Rastafari, this this growth really began, this growing in grace and in truth, right, really um, not just began, but it seems like it began, even though it already had begun, but it really started to um, increase. And, and as they say, it started to come together, it started to, to, to fulfill, you know, in the fullness, and using other Rastafari words, because what's so interesting is that Rastafari, when we look at it in spirit and in truth, is the Christian way. You understand? It just so happens that many of our elders from the first proclaimers, they didn't have all these resources that we do. But yet, for what they did have, they were in touch with certain um, primary, you understand, certain basic, um, elemental, some foundational. So when we're speaking about word, sound, and power, hopefully we'll come forward after the break, you know, and, and, you know, after a pause for the cause, we'll come forward with that afterwards, touching word, sound, and power in a new and living way. But this is a reminder to the brothers and the sisters, Yovas, as part of our uh, daily bread, as we, as we um, pray the um, Our Father prayer, the, the, the Besamayat, Yemitnor, Abatachin Hoi, in the Hebrew, Avinu Sheba Shemayim. You understand? Our Father who art in heaven, or even in, in the churchical form, Abatachin Hoi, Besamai, Yemitnor. You understand? As we pray this, we have to pay attention. You understand? Because there's, 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 there's certain petitions in there, certain things that we're asking in there. It's, it's a model of prayer. And that doesn't mean that every time we pray, when, when we pray about whatsoever things we pray, that we necessarily have to pray that particular prayer. But it's, it's good for us if we would um, take and make the time. Not really make the time, but take time. You know what I'm saying? Take time 
to get in the Word, you understand, and to spend time in the Word. And and, and we don't mean, uh, very, you know, um, the type of study that we might do on the Shabbat or the Senvet, you understand, or the type of study that we may do in our Mata Timharit, like our homework or evening lessons, you understand, for those of us who, who are able to make that time and take that time. But this is something that we do and we should do at the top of the morning. You know, since from, from the very first moment we rise up. You know what I'm saying? And it's very important for the Dek Amazamorit. This is for the Dek Amazamorit especially. To get into that discipline. Now, I don't want you to think that when we say this, this is so that you can be saved. No, 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 no. That's not that's not what the Wen Gale says. That's not the gospel. You know what I'm saying? You, you see, our Salvation, right, is Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? We receive him. You understand? We behold him. You understand? We walk in him. We we learn of him so we can know him. And we are growing in him and through him to the glory of his father, our father, Abba Kedus. Abba Tachin. Abba Kedus. 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 You know what I'm saying? So we have to recognize that. And that's a whole other message speaking about the gospel of grace. We really need to understand what the gospel of grace is all about. So um, within the time we have right here, um, when we're speaking about the daily devotions, once again, our website on the internet, the uh, LOJ Society. Dot .org as well as line of Judah Society. Dot .org sites but if you go to LOJ Society. Dot .org you'll see resource mm -hmm, center amen right and in the resource center here's what you do you click on it it'll take you to the study page right and there's a lot of um freeware and shareware even some software is there and we really said to, to everyone if there was a, a way that everything can be just like zipped and one can download the whole thing in fact that's a very good idea hallelujah amen amen that's a very in order to have a lot of these files already kind of like zipped together so one can just download everything one time and back these things up it's very important you understand? Because of this internet information, superhighway, you, you understand? It wasn't there 50 years ago, and we're not too sure whether it'll be there 50 years from now. So this is an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Even though the whole world is in crisis, I and I are in Yeshua HaMoshiach. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right? Amen. You, you see, you have to declare... That's a, that's a, that's another that's another lesson, another teaching right there. You understand, but hopefully the Holy Spirit will show you these things if you if you if you are willing to receive them. You, you understand, and, and see so you have to be willing to make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil. Is to show the greatest wisdom. But the first thing that we have to do, the first thing is amen, right? The first thing is amen. The first thing is is what King James call it belief. That's the kindergarten level, but the faith, right? But we are now looking at the pure language according to Zephaniah chapter three, verses nine and ten, right? And when we're in the pure language, we really start to 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 um, purify. You understand the oil and the apothecary. You understand so that our light. You understand? Because we are that light. We are the light of the world, according to Yeshua HaMoshiach. You understand? This is one reason why the daily um, devotionals, right, the daily devotionals, um, um, some call it dedication, and I say there's a teaching in there. There's a very interesting teaching in the Holy Spirit show this side that when we talk about the dedication, there's dedication of the, of the temple, and then there's Hanukkah, right, or, or Hanukkah. And Hanukkah is a festival of lights where um, I think uh, a, a day or so's oil was able to burn for, 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 for seven or for eight days. Yovas, and when we think about even the numbers, the digital of the Bible, because the Bible is also digital, the universe, the spirit, it's also a digital. Yovas, and so numbers also matter. This is why certain key numbers 
like one, three, five, seven, and even nine, appear much. You understand? Like so this is one, three, five, seven. You understand? And we're going to touch on those numbers as well. But this is a reminder to ones to go to the resource center at lojsociety.org. When you go there, you'll see resource center. You can put lojsociety.org forward slash study and go directly to the page, all right? Um, and scroll, you know, through the page. And, and I want you to look for a couple of key um, documents. One is the invitation. You're going to see a document called the invitation. It's a threefold. Download it and print out the hard copy of it, as well as Mekuteria, uh, right? Download it, right, and print out the hard copy. Now, those brothers and sisters who are um, co-laboring and, and, and are called to to, to service, to, to minister, and, and often come across different men and people and ones that they would like to reach out to, we would say take those two same documents, right? There's also one on the New Covenant, but these two documents, let's make it three, but the, the main focus we're putting on is these two particular documents, the invitation especially, the invitation numero uno, right? Uh, Guter and. Right? And download this document and print it out. Right? I think it's very, very important, even though um, we probably want to go over it since there's many things we learned, but much that we've already looked into it recently. And we said, wow. In fact, sometimes you, you read things that the Holy Spirit has done through you, and you'd be like, did I do this? Even the other day, I was listening to one of the, the um, videos. I was watching one of the videos that was posted up there that we had done um, some months, perhaps a year or more ago. And I was listening to it, and I didn't even recognize my voice, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm listening to my voice, but I'm like, I'm actually like, I'm going for pen and paper and write things down. I'm like, wait, wait, hold on. You know what I mean? And this is when you really start to really get it as you start to overstand. But reminder, reminder, reminder to the Rastafari disciples daily, Right, our daily devotionals, right, the daily psalms, right, the daily psalms, the daily um, Wengel or the gospel readings, you know, and as well as to continue in the Torah portion readings and feedings, but always keeping this uppermost, front and center in your mind's eye, Yeshua, right, Yeshua. You understand? Our Savior, the Bain Ha Elohim. Who? So, my brothers and sisters, I mean, of course, you know, there's much more that I would want to say and go on, go into this. But I think this will be a good foundation, foundational reminder, a reminder um, for the. And see, before we conclude this part right here, uh, the reason why. Is because every day we hear so many words from the world and from worldly men and people. We have to regularly feed, just like we eat regularly unless we're fasting or something like that. You know what I mean? Just as certain things we recognize in the in the in the carbon organic um, melanated structure, the outer, you know, the body, we we do regularly. You understand, folks, whether they go to work, whether they go to school, whether they take care of their children, whether they take care of their business or whatever, there's things that they have to do regularly. You understand? And the the key is for us to utilize these resources so we can tap into and download and continually feed you understand? That is what is mainly so important is our feeding. You understand? Our feeding. Remember the fivefold, the fivefold, um, hearing the word, right? Hearing the word, um, reading the word. I know a lot of the brothers and sisters like to listen to the, the preachings, the sermons, the sivkato, the teachings, um, but also it's very important for ones to read. You understand? For them to read the word for themselves. And, 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 and the daily psalms, I think, are, are fundamental, especially when you are born again, when you are repentant, you're born again, you receive the Moshiach, Yeshua, you receive the gospel of the King of Kings. 
you understand, which is the true Moshiach, the true Yeshua, you understand, the, the, the true testimony and teaching of our black Lord and Savior. Then when you're reading through, say, the Psalms, or you're chanting the Psalms, or you're reading any area of Scripture or any of the the additional um, resources we have in our Ethiopic, our divine heritage, whether it's the Kavr Neges, whether it's the Ethiopic legends of Our Lady um, um, Mary, Glamarium, whether it's the Zawatir Zalot, you understand, whether it's um, any other type of, you know, anything that is related directly, like the scriptures, the Metzhaf Kedus, or any of the additional we call the Ethiopic Talmud, the Darasan, the Darasanat, so forth and so on, the other um, 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 documents and, and, and scriptures, because they are scriptures as well. You have said many of our Ethiopic scriptures, and the two that we will highly recommend is the Queen of Sheba and Only Son Minulik, or the Kuvr Negest, as well as the Ethiopic legends of Our Lady Mary. Yo, for saying that actually that one contains a lot of um, other documents that are mostly in Amharic. Some of them we're working on, like Zawata Zelot or continual constant prayer. But there's a key. There's certain prayer keys that are very, very important. And, and one of the main ones is, is faith, is the hymenot, the living faith, is the imnet, our subjective as we behold, the subjective trust and faith that we have in beholding in spirit and in, 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 in truth, right? And in the manifestations in our life. You know, and this is one that we have to become you know, we have to become um born again. We have to be as born again from above. You understand? And from above means firstly and foremostly it must be spiritually. Alright? So anyway, Shalom Ras Tefari and more to come. Stay tuned. Shalom.